This is me, land dancing. And then we can go in, clip in the bike. Yo, I hope you are all doing very well. I am Dan and I like to escape on my bikes and also do some other adventures that you might find interesting. Who knows? I've done a lot on this channel, and but I like bikes a lot. So that's why I'm going to be here talking about this one. This is my Doors Horizon, it used to say. That's all gone chipped away. This is actually my commuter bike. I got it from my dad years ago. Well, I didn't say I got it from my dad. I kind of took it from my dad. He wasn't using it anymore. He's done quite a few ride events on it, like uh, London to Brighton and a few other, like lots of commuting. Um, I then took over, I've done London to Brighton on it as well and just use it now for everyday commuting. But the thing I wanted to talk about today was the pedals. I've always ridden flat pedals, never really liked to be clipped in. I have ridden straps on a fixed gear bike, fell over. I fell into a bush luckily, not onto the pavement. So yeah, this will be my first experience riding clipped in and I'm kind of nervous about it, but I've got some great tools for the job. Uh, I've invested quite heavily in this and got some decent equipment. So when it comes to clipping in, the two things you do need are some shoes, which I have in here, and some pedals. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the shoes. These are from Adidas, they're called the Velo Sambas. It's actually a vegan edition, because if it was leather, I would not buy that. Yeah, what I like about Adidas is, you know, they're still a corporate company, but they're trying to do better by promoting ending plastic waste. So on the top of this box, it says end plastic waste. And when you open it inside, it's just paper. Not good for the trees really, either, the cardboard box but instead of a plastic tag, it's using some rope tag, which is, you know, pretty on them for, you know, actually going ahead and using this kind of material. Um, yeah, the whole thing looks like leather, but it's actually made from vegan materials. They did release this shoe in the early part of 2021, and that was a full leather version. And recently at the beginning of this year, they made the vegan version. And I quite like this colorway with the kind of translucent sole and the gray upper and the white kind of, what would you call it? The white accent, the white accent, yes. But if you look underneath, it has this weird thing. And this is where you attach a bolt, which is called the SPD bolt, and you'll clip it in, and then that's what attaches to the pedals. I'm gonna do a full detailed review about this shoe because obviously I haven't worn it yet. So stay tuned on this channel to see how it performs, how I like it, and if I do enjoy wearing it because it's designed to be able to clip in and then walk around comfortably and casually without people knowing you're wearing an ugly cycling shoe. So the next thing are these pedals. These are the Shimano Dior XT. If you know anything about drivetrains, the Shimano Dior is part of the mountain bike range and I'm running Shimano Dior on my mountain bike at the moment, um, but it goes up in the line, so it'll go Dior SLX, XT, and then XTR. So this is the reason I went to go with an SPD pedal rather than a road cleat, because you can clip in on both sides, and when you're at traffic lights, you don't want to be hunting for that pedal, traffic going past you, and then trying to clip in. Yeah, it's just, you know, riding in London is hard enough as it is and you don't really want to think about clipping in at a busy junction and trying to get ahead of cars because you're faster than them. I am invincible and cars will not destroy me. Just to talk about the different types of pedals, this is the SPD, so it's actually invented by Shimano and then they have the SPD SL which is for the road cleat, which will look like a triangle and it's made of plastic, so it makes it more lightweight. In your pedal box, you will find these. These are the cleats that go onto the bottom of your shoe here. Uh, generally, you can spy them on your own or they'll come with your pedals. The SPDs, they're made of metal, so they're gonna last a lot longer. Whereas if you go with the road cyclings, they're made of plastic. And if you're walking in them a lot, they're gonna wear down really quickly, so you're gonna have to replace them a lot. Let's just go ahead and install these. There is a scientific way to do this. You've got to find the ball of your foot and then line it up there. And it, yeah, that 
I'm not really gonna go into it too much because I wanna play around with it if I feel comfortable, if I feel any pains, then I'm gonna make those slight adjustments because you can move it up and down or and slightly at an angle. So depending on the way your foot hangs, if your foot hangs straight, then you'd keep them straight. If one's slightly out, then you'd compensate by moving it slightly the other way. So, you know, there's a bit of science to it and a lot of playing around to see what feels comfortable for you. And I don't really wanna go into that in this video. I just wanna show you the experience of me learning how to ride with clips. Oh, ow. And this is what the shoes look like on. Obviously they do not look like road shoes, they just look like casual trainers or sneakers. So when it comes to the pedals, you gotta find the hook and then push down. And now I'm locked in. Now I'm locked in fully. So you got a bit of play in there. This feels strange. So see, I tried to pull out there. You have to really unclip. So on the clips, it has this bolt here. It hits a three mil Allen key or hex key, and it's got a minus and plus side. So obviously if you go to the minus side, it's gonna loosen it. If you go to the plus side, it's gonna tighten it. This, if you go to the minus, means it's gonna be easier to clip in and out. Obviously, and when it goes to the plus side, it's gonna be harder to clip in and out, but it's got a firmer grip on the cleat. So, because it's my first time, I'm gonna loosen this up, and you should be able to, it's like, it will feel like a nudge each time, so. Yeah, it'll be like a click. I've completely loosened off the pedals now, so I'm gonna clip in. So the way I'm doing it is kind of hooking down on that front foot, and then, Slapping down and it's clicked in. And come down. So the idea is, oh, it's hard to balance. So to unclip, you can either swing your heel that way or that way. So I've taken the pedals and I've put them on my brother's B-Twin bike. Why, why did you get this B-Twin, James? Good value. Good value, good value, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, they're very cheap. But yeah, I've put these pedals, they're probably worth the same amount as this bike. <laughs> and yeah, and with the clips. So yeah, I'm gonna try them out and then, yeah, let's go for it. All right. So I'm clipped in, both stuck on oh, no. So let's see how easy it is to unclip. Woo. And clip back in. It's pretty swish. So yeah. All right, so James, he's very against clips. He's gonna try them out. How do you find them? Um, yeah, it's decent. Flipping out is really easy. I always thought that would be like a um, something that would be a lot difficult. You hear all those stories about people falling off their bikes the first set of red lights within clips. First time clipping in with these Adidas shoes. Well, first time clipping in ever. And to be honest, I really enjoy it. I think it's helped my cycling. 
I can pull up and push down at the same time, so I'm getting a lot more speed. When it comes to heels, it's a lot easier with these on. I haven't got a bad thing to say about them. Um, even when I come to a traffic light, I can do almost a track stand and then easily unclip. I'm gonna do a proper review of this shoe as I need a lot more time playing with it and also I'd need to test it against maybe a performance shoe just to see how it handles compared to one of those in terms of delivering power. Uh, but I've been walking around with them, walking on the streets. You do hear the cleat touching the floor uh, a few times, but I haven't slipped over or anything. And yeah, I went to the shops with these on. I've walked around the town with them on and yeah, they've been fine. And clipping in has been easy. Just hook it in and snap down. Yeah, a dream. So yeah, that's my first time clipping in and using the Adidas Velo Sambas. Let me know what you think. Uh, would you ride these shoes or would you like a performance shoe better? Uh, but as a casual shoe driver going around town, these are pretty nice and they look pretty swish as well. But yeah, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it helps a lot and I appreciate it so much. Hope you're staying safe, staying positive, having fun, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you.